Well, as you join us right now, we've had a wee bit of a personnel change. Gary, the drummer, has left. Uh, he was in the band for a year and a half. Um, he's a cracking drummer. Uh, he's been mates for since forever, really. It's not like gone down your shirt or something, has it? No, because it fell off. Oh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking tube. <laughs> for years and years, so just one of those things. We decided to get a band together. Uh, I let him hear a few riffs and ideas, and he's the first person to really embrace it. And, we went for it, so it was great. We just got in the practice room and started jamming. And then that went on for a year and a half, just writing song after song, until we had about 18 of them. And he was a big, big part of uh, all that coming together. But people move on, uh, things change. Let's see other things. Uh, at this point in time, we have enlisted the help of Casey, who's going to be playing drums for us and he is charged with the task of getting good. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's up, Dick? What, homo? What, guy? We are shooting a video for Live Forever and we have two gigs coming up. So rehearsals are going pretty well. Jammed last night. Casey's picking everything up. And it's sounding good. So we've got a couple of weeks to the gig. So. Still time to uh, refine a few things. It was louder than the others anyway. It was what? It was louder than the others. Ah, that's what I'm saying. So I might have to turn that one down. We've got about five practices left before we're on stage. And everything has to be perfect for them. But I'm pretty confident that everything's gone according to plan. You are doing a four count in that, yeah? Yeah, I got put off by... Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> well, what's it? Fuck all the day with me. Aye, right. <laughs> Cos because I went two, three, four. They're not teaching every count at school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you went two, three, four out of time. No, no. Yes. <laughs> you never taught me how to count in school. <laughs> Man, I fucked every line of that up. Like, I keep saying the wrong words and everything. It's quite a comedy fuck up because I say that uh, rather than um, when we've had too much to drink, you take the rise out of me. I say when we've had too much to drink, I take the rise out of you. Which means in the next line, how do we? <laughs> rather than. Uh, but I'll be sober in the morning, you'll be ugly. It's like, you'll be sober in the morning and I'll still be ugly. I was like, fuck! <laughs> what a dick. Dick! I'm having an off night. I keep missing notes everywhere. Uh, the gig should be quite interesting because uh, we're really starting to gel as a live unit with our old lineup. <laughs> Casey coming into the band, he's going to be doing what, pretty much what I do in Eminus, which is play to a metronome via a set of headphones. <laughs> which will 
keep them in time to the pre-recorded sounds that I'll have done here in the studio. So, in terms of live, well, for the first benefit, it'll never go out of time, hopefully. Uh, it'll not speed up and slow down, which is a thing that drummers do. Uh, apart from me, I've never done that, <laughs> ever. I'm uh, Casey, I'm the drummer for Nash Avenue. Uh, operate the Beast. Uh, I love this. It's amazing. It's a work of art. Uh, I also get to operate the, the laptop, which is part of the heart of the band. Because I get to operate the backing tracks. Let me just bring that up. Brings up all the set list that has plays through connected to my own wee desk and I get my own wee set of headphones which has a click track playing through all the, cl the tracks to, if I keep me in time, keeps me in time with the, the backing tracks that come through PA which everyone else gets to hear uh, which helps Hammy along with any kind of solos and wanky bits and keeps Tony on his toes as well uh, it's all connected through the laptop to the desk which goes through to the main PA which everyone else hears uh, and that's pretty much the heart and soul, it's the, my purpose in this band. In live, the audience will hear the band the way it's always meant to be here, well, as far as I'm concerned, which is basically a mix of guitar-driven rock with Vince Dacola synthasticness over the top. <laughs> doing a set of about eight songs for this gig so that's eight songs that Casey Nolan has to learn and has to play like he has been playing for a lot longer than he has been. We'll call it uh, we'll call it the Derby because it's like 16 is it? Normal chorus for the first half but it goes in and then joins it with a and it goes just straight with, with all the breaking up bits and uh Kinda of hangs for the end. Thank you, we've been Iron Maiden. Yeah. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Ready? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> I, I can't need the clicks on the hang, so it's basically when it goes there. Uh, it's just eight clicks, so it's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have, if you can give us a cue of some sort, it's that crash at the end of. Psh. Uh, the double, the double, the double. Come back in for like the normal eight, and the first four you ignore.